Libra, the person thinking of you is going to come forward after a little healing, and they are going to reveal their love for you. You need to manifest your Ten of Cups and decide on what your Ten of Cups looks like. Let's get into the cards and tell the story right here on Mojo Tell. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Jojo and I'm so honored, grateful, and thankful for each and every one of you stopping by, checking out my videos and my channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you, if you will, for hitting that like button for me. It helps a lot with the algorithm to get the video out there to other viewers and potential subscribers. Pretty please hit that like button for me. It really does help. Share, comment, subscribe if you like my vibe. All the neat little things that help my channel to grow, I really do appreciate it. Please make sure you're doing this for other tarot readers and other content providers as well. Now, let's get into your reading. This is a general read for the sign of Libra. It'll be for Libra in any one of your chart placements. If, you know, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, wherever you've got Libra, if this message resonates with you, it's for you. All of my reads are timeless, every single one of them. So, whenever you find this video, if you happen to resonate with it and you find a message in it, then it's for you at the time you see it. Uh, it is a general read, so please remember that roles can be reversed, and there is no gender in tarot. Please only take what resonates. Do not try to make the story fit. If this does not resonate with you, I've got plenty of other videos out there that you can check out for any of your chart placements. There are two links in the description box, which will guide you to websites where you can get your own free natal chart. We'll plot everything out for you, and you'll know everything you need to know. All right, let's get into this. This is going to be a who is thinking of you, Libra? Who is thinking of my little scaly scales? Who's thinking of my Librans? Who has got the Libra on their mind? The King of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Five of Wands. Wow. A lot of fire energy going on there, Libra. Uh, so you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, this person is conflicted. You, This could be somebody that you might be having a conflict with. The King of Wands is usually somebody that's very popular, very, you know, outspoken in their community, doing their own little thing. And they're, they're popular. But the good looking, probably somebody very attractive. This is the hell yes, hell no guy. This is somebody that is going after what they want in life with gusto and passion. They will take the bulls by the horns and jump out there into whatever they see fit. Kind of impulsive at times, but this is the grown up version of the Knight of Wands. So this person will make passionate decisions and will take action on them. Usually they, this person will have the gift of gab, uh, be very uh, forward in communication, but does not always communicate the proper things. You know, the king of wands is fiery. He's going to move forward in a way that supports his agenda. Male or female does not matter. Don't pay any attention to that. Page of Wands, this person is making an offer or sending some kind of communication about things. And they, again, they're a little conflicted about this with this Five of Wands. There's, this is somebody that has some turmoil going on in their life. The, um, you know, the Five of Wands can be a card of practice as well. So it might be somebody that's gearing up for some new move that they want to make. And they're probably going to send messages about this. Underneath the bottom of the deck, you've got Judgment Card. Mm -hmm. There you are, Libra. There you are. So this person could very well have conflict with you. They definitely have you 
on their mind, and it could be somebody from your past, as judgment can be a card of reconciliation. So, let's put this little guy right over there, uh, and underneath that we've got the Three of Cups. Very well, it could be somebody that wants to reconcile with you, wants to have fun with you, wants to come forward. Um, could be somebody that maybe had you in a third party of some sort, if it's somebody from your past. I could explain all the chaos and the, the turmoil going on here in the Five of Wands. But let's go a little bit deeper. How are my Libras going to know exactly who this person is? How are my Libras going to know exactly who this King of Wands person is? Ooh, that's not good. Three of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody that is not collaborating with you right now. They are probably not speaking at the moment, or at least not coming forward. They're not working with you on whatever it is that you have together. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, generally seen as the card of Aquarius. This person is logical. They are smart. They are very good at communicating exactly what it is that they need to communicate. But this person will only speak the truth and will only accept the truth out of things. This person has the ability verbally to do great things. Generally, the king of swords is somebody that's highly intelligent, does make head over heart decisions, and communicates very, very well about their agenda and what they're trying to do. Um, this person also has the ability to cut your soul in half with just one or two sentences. If you come to them with anything that is other than correct or truthful, they will use that sword. Knight of Pentacles. This is going to be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is moving achingly, achingly, achingly slow at whatever it is. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is the surest knight in the deck. This speaks of action. It speaks of movement. This person, though, will get there. They will accomplish their task, but they are moving so, so archaically slow. You're going to know who this is because they're, again, they're not cooperating in some kind of endeavor. Uh, King of Swords, this is somebody very sharp, good with their words, does take action on things, but they're being cautious about it and they are moving slow. Underneath the bottom of the deck, you've got the Seven of Wands. This person could be very defensive uh, towards you and very defensive about their feelings and their positions on things. So far, we don't have any cups. None. So, I don't know if this is a love situation. Again, with that judgment card over here, it could very well be somebody from the past, but it's... This is somebody, again, not working with you. They will speak their truth, and they are moving very slow, and they are going to be defensive. Hmm. My, oh my, Libra, who are we dealing with here? Somebody not cooperating, communicating, but not cooperating with you, and moving extremely slow. So, how does this person see you, Libra? How does this person see my little Libra scales. How do they see my angels of air? I get along quite well with Libras, being a Gemini myself, my brothers and sisters of air. I get along with Libras very well. Libras and Saggies. Libras, Saggies, and Virgos, I'd have to say. All right. How does this person see my Libras? Ace of Wands. Nine of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. Underneath the bottom of the deck, you've got the Seven of Cups. Well, they see you as somebody um, tempting. I mean, they are definitely attracted to you. And they see you as somebody very defensive. You know, the Nine of Wands is also a card of defense. It's the wounded warrior, last man standing, somebody willing to put in one more try. 
They also see that you're willing uh, to work on things and that you are working and securing your own uh, bag, so to speak. You're, you're putting in the work and you're doing things and you're probably putting in work towards whatever this is. But just know that they are very attracted to you. They are very passionate about you. Seven of Wands being the overall energy for that underneath the bottom of the deck. This person is confused by you or thinks that you are out playing and you are just keeping your options open and exploring all of your different options. They know you look good and they see that you have options out in the world. Um, underneath that, you've got the Eight of Cups. You could be walking away from this person. So, let's keep going a little bit further. How do they actually feel about my Libras? How does this person actually feel about my scaly scales of justice? How are they feeling about my Libras? The world card, end of the cycle, ace of swords, there's the truth, and judgment. Boom, boom, boom. Underneath the bottom of the deck, you've got the five of cups. Well, Libra, how they feel about you is that whatever this cycle is has come to an end. They could see you as someone at a distance, and they feel like that might be a little too hard to overcome. The truth. They see you speaking the truth. They feel that you are truthful, that you have delivered the correct messages to them how whatever that is you like them you don't like them whatever it is you spoke your truth about it and they feel that way judgment again this can be a card of reconciliation it can also be a card of exactly that calling judgment on someone maybe you have called judgment on this person or you've been trying to reconcile with this person and they're just not cooperating in the process with the five of cups they feel sad and remorseful about this. They, oh, look, underneath that, the Fool card, card of Aries. They do want to take a leap of faith towards you, and they're feeling rather regretful and remorseful about whatever this situation is, and they're focused on the negative part, these three cups down here, but there is still love in this situation. There are still two of cups there. So they do have love for you, and they do they are passionate for you, uh, especially with that Knight of um, Ace of Wands being there. Um, and they, they do want to take a leap of faith towards you. So, you know, they, they have emotion for you, obviously, and they do worry about you being in or being a part of their life. So... Let's see, signs we've got so far on the board, we've got Judgment, you, and Scorpio. We've got the King of Wands, that's generally seen as Leo, but it's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Page of Wands, Fire Signs as well. We go to the King of Swords, we've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Knight of Pentacles, that's your Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. With the world card there, you've got all of your fixed signs. That is going to be Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, and Scorpio. Judgment again. Um, you, Libra, and Scorpio. This person could see you standing in your power. If the cycle is over, you've spoken the truth about it, and you're standing in your, your own glory, if you will. But they do have emotion for you, and they are highly attracted to you. Not really sure what the conflict is or why they're not working on this, but they are coming towards you in a very, very slow fashion, and they do feel remorse about whatever this situation is. I get the feeling that this person doesn't want to fight with you. They don't want drama with you. They are attracted to you. They have emotions for you. Um, but whatever the conflict is, apparently you called judgment on the situation and are not working with them. That may be how you know who this is. You're not willing to work with this person. In, in, in other words, it's not that they're not working with you. You are not working with them. And you may be the one that's going king of swords on this person. 
So this king of swords could very well represent you that you're just not tolerating this person's bullshit. Um, but they are going to come forward with an offer of some kind. Mm -hmm. Well, what should you expect from this person with this offer or whatever it is that they want to do? What are they actually going to do? What can my Libras expect from this person? From this King of Wands? What can you expect? Four of Swords, healing. The Moon, revealing of what's, you know, hidden. Oh, and the Two of Cups. Underneath the bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords. Yeah, this person is going to be coming forward. They're going to tell you that they've been healing and they're really wounded by this. The moon card is about things that are hidden or, you know, uh, have been hidden, emotions that have been hidden, especially with this one. As you can see in this particular moon card, that woman is just completely immersed in the water, all the emotion there, and the moon is shining the light on all that emotion. And they are going to come forward and tell you that they love you. That's right. They want to touch the Libra butt. They want to add some stuff to the scales. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. With the Ace of Swords underneath the bottom of the deck, I get the feeling that this person's kind of been hiding their emotions, especially with that moon card there. With the Ace of Swords here, they're going to be coming forward with this little confession of love and care for you. Yeah, they see you as a soulmate connection. They do. And they're going to be coming forward about it. They are they are in their head about this, and they have been hurt. They're going to be defensive a little bit, or they have been defensive. But what you can expect is this person's going to get over that. They're going to, you know, get over their pouty lipness. They're going to... They're going to quit pouting and they're going to come forward and and put down their guard a little bit. Drop their guard anyway. They will be revealing emotion for you and they do have genuine love for you with that two of cups. The ace of swords, you're finally going to get the truth out of this person. Whatever that is, probably the truth about this emotion because you haven't been willing to work with them because they've been so, you know... Um, prone to drop into that conflict mode, you know, so yeah, it's going to come out, this person does love you, they do care about you, so, well, what is the advice for my Libra gang, what is the advice for my Libras, what do we got for them, universe, what do you want to tell my Libra babies, the magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, Page of Swords, and the Two of Swords. Underneath the bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups. This is pretty clear, Libra. You need to manifest and study and choose what your Ten of Cups look like. I've said this to several different signs so far. And look, underneath that, yep, we've got the Three of Wands waiting on your ships to come in. Libra. You have the power to manifest anything that you want. You need to decide what your Ten of Cups looks like. You need to decide what ships you want to come in. You know, you have a vision of your life, right? You have a vision of, of however it's going to be. Are you going to travel? Is it just you and a partner? Is it you with uh, a wife or a husband and a nice big house with a kid and a dog and a cat and a white picket fence? Are you going to get in an RV and travel around the country and, and live as, you know, nomads? Whatever that is, whatever your happiness is, and you need to decide that for yourself, which means that you actually need to put in research into this. You need to study and really go within and then look at the rest of the world, do some internet research, talk to people. See what kind of places you want to go to. Find out if you want a degree. Find out what it takes to get that degree. If you want to be a nurse, find out what it takes to get the nursing degree. If you want to be a doctor, figure out what it takes to get into medical school and go do that. Whatever it is, you need to study about the path 
and make choices about this. You need to make your own choices about this. You see these birds up here? These birds always represent messages to me. Don't listen to what other people have to say. You have to make this choice for you because only you have to live with yourself for the rest of your life. Only you get to choose what your happiness is. It's not anybody else's responsibility. Your happiness is no, is no one's responsibility but your own. So you have to do the research. You have to figure out and decide what it is. What does your Ten of Cups look like? And most of all, you need to manifest it. Take the action. Go get what it is that you want. The magician has all the tools that they need to manifest or alchemize whatever it is they want out of life. You need to figure out what that is if you're going to manifest it. Again, this is Gemini Virgo energy, but the magician energy is very, very powerful. It is self-empowerment, and you have the ability to do this. Do your research. Decide what it is that you want. Decide what your Ten of Cups looks like so that your ship can come in. And look at that. So you can have new opportunities, but you need to take action on those opportunities. and really decide what it is that you want so you can go get it. If this person is what you consider to be Ten of Cups, if this person is what you consider to be your Ten of Cups situation, then go for it. Figure out what it is that you need to do. Do some research. If you're going to do something with this person, where are y'all going to live? How are you going to pay the bills? What are the day-to-day -day practical steps that you need to take to make this a reality? And as you study those steps, decide what it is that you're going to do. Decide on your Ten of Cups. Again, if you're going to manifest this, you got to know what you're manifesting and how to manifest. Make sure you're doing your shadow work. Make sure you're staying grounded. You know, Make sure you're eating properly, get proper nutrition, exercise, do your shadow work, stay grounded, stay in the moment. It's always good to plan for tomorrow, but you don't want to live on this future faking thing where you're constantly living on some potential of an idea. Your life is right now, and right now what you need to do is study, figure out what it is that you want, make the decision about what you want about whatever your Ten of Cups is, and you need to take the action to get to manifesting it. I can give you the example of this. You're never going to win the lottery unless you actually go buy a ticket. You have to buy the ticket. Otherwise, there is 0% chance that you're going to win the lottery. As slim as that chance is to win the lottery with the ticket, the odds are just completely nil if you don't actually take the action and go buy the ticket. Study what you want, decide on it, figure out what your Ten of Cups is, and manifest it. If it's with this person, so be it. Do it. Be discerning. But remember that only you are responsible for your happiness, not this person. They obviously have emotion for you. They are going to open up. They are going to be truthful decide what it is that you want. You need to decide if your Ten of Cups can be had with this person or not. So, Libra, there you go. You you have the your task and your homework assignment set for you. Uh, well, that's pretty much where we're going to end it. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you all so much for being here. I do greatly appreciate it. If you will, pretty please hit that little like button for me. As always, comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. If you'd like a personal reading, my address will be right down there below. Send me an email and I'll let you know you can get a personal read with me if you need further clarification or detail. I'm going to leave this here for now. We'll pick up on it next time. Thank you all so much for being here. I do greatly appreciate it. Your likes, shares, subscribes if you like my vibe. All the comments, which I do reply to. Thank you all so much. It all does help my channel grow, and I am so grateful for it. Please take care of yourselves and stay safe out there. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Love, love, love. Peace.
good dog.